All right, let's go and talk about uh, forces being exerted on planar surfaces, um, surfaces that are submerged under liquids. And um, the very first thing, we'll just start off with a very simple, maybe demonstration of this. Um, most of this is statics, as you'll learn. Say we had, say we had some liquid, in this case maybe water, and we said that the specific weight of this water was constant. And in this body of water, we took a um, maybe a, a square or a rectangle surface, and we submerged it under under this water. Okay. So we're actually looking at a cross-section view of it. If we were looking um, at it straight on. So what I do is I usually draw this little eyeball and I say okay this eyeball is looking at this gate and what this eyeball is seeing is actually this, right? It's looking it's looking at the gate like that. So just to kind of give you a perspective um, we're looking at the side view, the side view here of this submerged uh, rectangle. It could be a piece of steel, um, it could be anything. But the important thing is that when you submerge these surfaces, the body of liquid actually causes a pressure distribution. And you know from, you know, manometry, you know from um, even just regular uh, life experience that you know that the the further down in the water you go um, the pressure increases right if you've ever swam to the bottom of a swimming pool you can sometimes feel um, your ears become a little tight maybe they start popping um, but we do know that the lower you go into a, a body of water the higher the pressure is right so the pressure distribution on on, um, <clears throat> on this gate right here would look something like something like this right <clears throat> and this pressure distribution is acting on this area okay and for these next couple of videos, we're only going to look at symmetrical shapes. So we're going to look at gates that are um, symmetrical, like rectangles or squares. We're going to look at gates that are, you know, triangles because their line of symmetry is down here. Maybe circles. Um, but just, just remember that we're looking at gates and shapes and submerged surfaces that are just symmetrical, if you want to say, quote-unquote, up and down, um, but anyway, when we submerge this gate or 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 um, body or or um, plate or whatever it is, when you submerge it under a liquid, um, we see this pressure distribution, right? And if 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 the water was you know up here, and you only submerge the gate uh, maybe down here to where this end of the gate was um, touching the water, the pressure distribution would be zero at the top and would increase as you go down, right? But anyway, back to this. If we were to find the centroid of this shape, which, of course, in a rectangle, it's just right in the middle, we can replace this green pressure distribution by a force and a couple. Now. Let me redraw the gate up here, or down here. We know that the centroid of this shape is right in the middle. I'll just call that C. And we can't really find um, the centroid of this trapezoid. I mean, we could with some complex calculations, and we could find out that the center of pressure would be somewhere here acting like acting like that. But instead of doing that, we can look at 
the force acting on the centroid of the plate and the couple acting at the centroid of the plate. So for this gate, the pressure distribution actually turns into something what we call, um, I just call it the force, P, so the force of the pressure, and the couple, or the moment, the couple, uh, C, P. So the force exerted by this pressure distribution um, is actually a force and couple. Now normally, let me actually redraw it again, if we had that same gate and the centroid was here, this pressure distribution would actually act right about there. But we don't really know where exactly. So, well actually we do, but we can, we'll get to that in another video. I call this just the resultant force. And instead of trying to figure out where exactly this pressure distribution is acting, where it's where this green pressure distribution is resulting, we just look at the centroid of the gate, not the pressure distribution. So we look at the force acting at the centroid and the couple acting at the centroid. Now this force and couple, if you were to turn this into a resultant force, um, it would actually equal this, right? The resultant force. Remember in statics you could replace a force and couple by just a force or vice versa. Now, force P, the force of the pressure distribution, and the couple at the, um, at the centroid of this object, uh, the formulas we use for, to find the force is um, the pressure acting at the centroid of the gate. So we usually denote that PC times the uh, times this area A, we, we call it area A, so the area here, so the area on top of this gate. And for the couple, um, I'm going to redraw the gate, and I'm going to say, okay, I will call, actually, if we go back up here, the centroid of this gate was right about here. Now, if we say, okay, this is the z-axis, this is the y-axis, you know, I'm, I'm just labeling. We can see that on here, where the i is looking, the y-axis is actually going to be going down here, right? It's going down, and you're looking at it from head on. And the z is actually going into the, into the board, or into the paper, or up and down. And here we'll call this x, right? So it's the same thing here. Here's y and here's x, right? And this couple that's acting is actually acting around this x-axis. So it's, it's coming from here and it's, it's coming out of the board and then boom, down to the bottom of the, of the steel plate. So in other words, it's, it's the couple is acting around the x-axis, right? It's acting around the x-axis. And to find this couple, we actually, um, uh, the formula to find this couple is the specific weight of the fluid that's touching the gate times the second area inertia, and I'll say that's around the x-axis, times cosine beta. And beta, um, if this was a horizontal line, this angle right here, that's beta. Okay? So, these are the two formulas we can use to find this and this. The pressure distributions, or the resultant force of the pressure and the resultant couple acting on the centroid of this gate or submerged surface, okay?